Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna go over Holiday Tinkerbell from the Peter Pan series. And also, I'm gonna show you guys how to properly use Holiday Tinkerbell as well, and some of the strategies that I use. She is a little bit more difficult compared to the other students that we have, and there's a lot of different factors that you need to know before getting into it. Before I show you how to properly use Holiday Tinkerbell, let's take a look at her stats and some strategies. So the ability description for Holiday Tinkerbell is clears surrounding zooms along with the connected ones. The game demonstration that you're watching right now is a skill level 1 game demonstration. And if you want to fully charge up Holiday Tinkerbell, you will need to clear a total of 19 copies of her off the screen. Her minimum score is 140 with a maximum score of 924. And then if you want to get her to skill level 6, you're going to need to get a total of 32 copies of her. So from a scoring perspective, she's okay. Not the best, but not the worst either. You're really using her for long chains and her unique ability. On the bottom right hand corner, you'll see her stats chart. So if you have her at skill level 1, her ability is going to last 3 seconds. And if you have her maxed out, it's going to last a total of 6 seconds. So it's double the amount. And every single time you level her up, you're going to get an additional 0.6 seconds to the ability time. So weigh that in to see if it's worth it or not to max out her ability. And really, Holiday Tinkerbell is not necessarily the best coin earner, but she is one of the funner assumes to use if you like to strategize and connect long chains, then she's the one for you. But when it comes to coins and also for score, there are definitely going to be better assumes out there that you could use. So Holiday Tinkerbell is roughly an average assume. So let's get into it and take a look at her ability and also doing some side-by-side -side comparison. For this section of the video, I'm also going to go over the strategy and how to properly use her. So if you're looking for that, you're in the right place. For skill level 1, her ability is going to last 3 seconds. Skill level 2, it's going to last 3.6 seconds. And then finally, for skill level 3, her ability is going to last a total of 4.2 seconds. So let's get into it and talk a little bit about her strategy. So the first thing you need to know about Holiday Tinkerbell is when you are in fever time, all of the Holiday Tinkerbell will start shimmering and have this little glow. And when that happens, you're actually able to connect Holiday Tinkerbells even if they're not next to each other. So you could have one in the top left hand corner and one in the bottom right hand corner and you could connect them from far distance away. And you don't need to have her ability activated. So this is one thing that's unique about Holiday Tinkerbell is that there is a special ability during fever time. And I wish that they would call that out during the description, but they don't. But so keep that in mind when you're using Holiday Tinkerbell is that the fever mode has the ability to connect Tinkerbells when they're not connected. And the second strategy for Holiday Tinkerbell is you want to make sure you have a good amount of fever time left before you activate her ability. The reason for that is, like I mentioned to strategy number one, is when you're in fever time, you can connect Holiday Tinkerbell from far away and that's going to play into how long the chain's going to be and how quickly you can burst certain zooms. You don't necessarily want to activate the ability right away, so just keep that in mind and keep an eye out on the fever bar. And that's one thing that's a little bit difficult about Holiday Tinkerbell is that there's a lot of timing involved and you have to strategize a little bit before going into the ability time as well as activating the fever time. And then the third thing you want to do with Holiday Tinkerbell is you want to pop a magic bubble in between clears during fever time as well as the ability time. So while you have your abilities activated and you connect that first long chain with Holiday Tinkerbell, you want to pop a magic bubble right after you clear your first long chain. By doing that, you won't have to let the animation pop each single zoom away from the screen, but instead it'll pop all of it at once. So what I want to do is show you all of these in real time, and then I'm going to slow it down and walk you through all of the strategies that I just mentioned to you. There's actually one more thing I want to point out to you guys is to determine if you're still in ability time or not, take a look at the clock and also the coin counter. You'll see that there's a little blue bow and the whole screen kind of turns blue. For skill level one, you'll be able to see that it lasts for three seconds. So it ends first and then skill level two and skill level three. So by looking at the screenplay, you'll be able to determine if you're still in ability or not. So the second thing I want to show you guys is I mentioned that you could connect really long chains from distance away. So check this out. Look at skill level two. I'm connecting a bunch of Holiday Tinkerbells and they're not connected to one another. So you got to know these two things before we talk about the strategies next. So let's get into it to now talk about like the advanced strategies. Here we have the abilities all fully charged up and keep an eye out on the fever bar. You'll notice that I at least have a third of the fever bar charged up. 
you want to make sure you're in fever and have at least one third of the fever bar charged up before activating it. So after you activate the ability, you want to start strategizing on where to start connecting your chains. So look for holiday tinkerbells while you're in this fever mode where the tree is. And that's where you want to start connecting long chains in your brain. And then once you're able to actually connect the chains, you want to connect it as quickly as possible across the screen as much as possible. So you could go from bottom left, top right, wherever, but you want to get a majority of the screen if possible. By doing that, you'll, you might even get lucky and get a second ability. And that's actually what you should strive for, especially on the lower levels. You're not necessarily going to be able to go back to back for ability time and fever time. So try to just connect really long chains and very quickly. So for this next ability demonstration, I want to turn your attention to just skill level three uh, about the bubble. So we're just gonna focus on the bubble that the first chain makes. And if you're lucky, you might even wanna have a bubble ready for the first chain, which I didn't for this demonstration, but you see there are two bubbles there right now. I'm gonna pop it right after I release that long chain. And you see that the animation just flows right through and clears all of the bubbles or all of the zooms that I connected. And that's what you want to strive for is have a bubble burst right after you connect a really long chain with Holiday Tinkerbell. For this final explanation, take a look at skill level three because that's the one I'm really going to focus on. So figure out where you're going to connect your Holiday Tinkerbells before you activate the ability and keep an eye out on the fever bar right now. You'll notice that it's about to run out. And what you want to do is you want to pop your last chain right before the fever ends. So you want to let go right when the fever ends so that way the fever bar charges up right away so now you'll notice that the fever has ended uh, or the fever has resumed but your ability has ended but because in fever time you connect multiple tinkerbells from far away what you'll do then is connect tinkerbells right away and then be able to activate her ability again and then that cycle resumes so if you are able to continue that cycle where the last ability time ends when your fever time also ends and you can connect a long chain and fever resumes you can continue the cycle over and over and over again it will earn you a lot more coins and a lot of high scores so if you're able to perfect that that's how you'll optimize using holiday tinkerbell so hopefully that helps you guys out on how to properly use holiday tinkerbell and if you have other strategies leave in the comments below so others could see it as well Let's also take a look at the score earnings and the coin earnings as well for these three gameplays. For skill level 1, I ended up with 1,468 coins. For skill level 2, I got 1,646 coins. And for skill level 3, I got 2,137 coins. So from a coin earning perspective, it's not super amazing for coin earning. I think it's okay. And if you're playing with the 5-4 and coin boost on, you may get lucky at skill level 3. So also these were some of my earlier gameplays. So expect to earn a lot more coins than I did here for these game demonstrations. And when it comes to score for skill level one, I got 3.4, skill level two, I got 3.3. And the reason why the skill level two is a lower score is because one of my supporting zooms wasn't maxed out. So it wasn't as high. Uh, and then for skill level three, I got 4.7 million. So from a scoring perspective, it's also not super amazing. There's definitely a lot of better streams out there that you could get for coins and for score. You're really getting Holiday Tinkerbell because it's going to be a collector's item. She's not likely going to come back until next year during a selection box of some sort in December or maybe even longer. So if you want to get a Holiday Zoom, now is probably the time to at least get one copy of her. And then you can use your skill tickets if you really like Holiday Tinkerbell. But from a functionality wise, Holiday Tinkerbell is not necessarily one you must have. So I actually recommend you to save your coins uh, for a future Zoom in the future. So that's my review for a Holiday Tinkerbell. I hope that you guys found this video helpful or at least entertaining. I will be doing another video for Holiday Tinkerbell for skill level 4, 5, and 6. So if you're interested in seeing that, check back here in like a couple of days and it should be posted. Or just subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. And if you have done so already, I really appreciate that, that you guys have subscribed. It really helps this channel out a lot. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.